Hello everybody, Feltais94 is here today, and I'm doing something that I should have been doing a long, long time ago, and it is I'm playing a 1.9 snapshot. Now it's already updated to um, 15W, W32A, I believe, uh, but uh, there's so many changes that you cannot just simply uh, go over it in a single video. So that's why I'm redirecting you to Log.Zip's channel in the description so you can watch everything. I'm just going to show you some nice and cool things that have been added, uh, among other things. Um, to start with, right away, this is the end rod. It is a light source. Um, yeah, it's nothing but that. You can place and destroy them about anywhere, and you can also uh, place them upright and uh, top down. Uh, so, um, well. They're very easy to break, they like torches, but the end version. Um, what's new, of course, is um, this. That's right, I have um, I have a sword in my left hand right now, and an end rod in my right hand. It would be more sensible to do it the other way around. So you simply press a button, default is F, and you switch them around and you can attack with... Um, the left mouse button and place not place ends and rods with the right mouse button because you can defend with the sword but that's going to change because uh, what's not yet added in the snapshot is shields and um, if you put a shield in your left hand you can use that uh, you can place that instead of defend with your uh, you know of course not you can defend with your shield instead of with your sword and you 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 won't be able to defend with your sword anymore, but but because shields aren't in the game yet, uh, the uh, you can still defend with your sword. But as you can see, uh, if I don't have anything in my main hand, which is my right hand right now, uh, I can place end rods, which which are in my off hand, and oh, you can walk over them, of course, like. Yeah, you can play make like a parker with it, and you can place them like that, so you can get to the top of a mountain or something. I don't know, do whatever you like. Uh, but I'm talking about end rods all the time, but it's not even the most exciting change that's been made. Uh, for that, I need to get my bow. By the way, I'll tell you right now, I'm not going into the end in this video. Just because um, I might do another video on that, but I'm just going to show you some very simple changes in here. Now, what's next is uh, to find uh, a mob or anything that I can hit this with. Okay, I'm, cr I'm creative. Time set day. Uh, okay, what can I hit with this? You. No, you're almost dead. That's 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 pathetic. Um. Oh wait, you're you're. Oh, I did the final blow. Oh well, I'm just gonna go in here and place an end rod because I can't see anything, and I'm gonna get. Uh, let's get a skeleton, indeed. Because why not? Oh, I threw it. Uh, where is it? Here it is. Uh, I'm just gonna place it here. And now, as you can see, when I hit this skeleton with this arrow, it'll have an outline. Wow, that's so exciting! But what's the uh, what's the point? What's the what's the real advantage of that? Well, simply because you can see him through blocks, and you can be around the corner and be like, "Hey, the skeleton that I just shot with my spectral arrow, it's still there." So I know when to watch out. But it only lasts for a few seconds, though. But um, oh, it's very it's quite powerful. Um, but that's not all. You can also have now arrows with um, bow uh, with uh, potion effects, and well, you can simply uh, apply these to a mob. Like um, negative uh, negative effects, you can um, shoot through a mob, and then they will have the negative effect, so you can kill them easier. Or you can, of course, um, have a, a, an, an arrow with a positive effect and shoot it on yourself, so you get that positive potion effect. 
So, like, let me get um, the arrow of swiftness right here. Uh, put it in my offhand because that's the priority arrow. And get my bow and shoot myself with it. I didn't have to shoot it that high. Oh, missed it. Anyway. Come on. What's up? Maybe we need this. There we go. And now we got swift swiftness. Uh, speed. I don't know. And it lasts for three minutes, so that's quite powerful for only just one arrow. I like it. I like it. Yes. Um, what's what more? What do we have? Oh yes, of course. How could I forget? This, my dear friends, this is the shulker. It's a block, right? <laughs> no, it's not a block. You can hit it; it becomes red. But um, if it wants to cooperate, look, there it is. You saw it really shortly, like right there. Here, look his eyes. Um, let me go in game mode zero. They look cute, but they're not. I tell you right now, they're not cute. Like, look at this. This is a projectile. It fires off in your direction and it can follow you. It can follow you real nasty. And when it hits you, it sends you floating into the air. With this new potion effect, levitation. And you do take fall damage. So watch out with that and don't get hit too many times in a row because you will be dead before you know it. These mobs can be found in the new blah, end dungeons that I may cover in another video. I'm dead, yeah. But for now, that's the shulker. And it doesn't take damage uh, like in block form. It only takes damage when it exposes itself. Uh, help me. Oh, body of water. Search for a body of water. There you can fall um, without any taking any damage. That's still the same, luckily. Um, let me try to kill it once more. Oh, I killed it. Okay. <laughs> uh, it doesn't drop anything just yet, but uh, it might be in the future. It might drop something in the future. Um, well, I don't know what to cover uh, else. Let me see. Uh, I might be left yeah. uh, Let me left it for now. There are a lot of new blocks, of course. Those, those look pretty awesome, these new blocks. Wait, this is everything. These new blocks look pretty awesome. Purple blocks. It's quite a stupid name, but uh, they look nice. This is the block. It's uh, also to be found in the end, in the new end uh, dungeons. And this is the purple pillar for uh, decoration. It can be used. Uh, you can decorate your house really nicely with it. And it can be placed in multiple directions. So I think that's really nice. And I think that covers a lot of what is new in this video. Only just not the end. The end is completely changed. I will, I will, I, I will have to do another video on that because. It's so much better. Look, you see this, 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 this. I'm going to keep him this a mystery uh, for another video. Uh, this also. Oh, yeah, and beetroot. That's a new fruit. You can eat them. You can make beetroot soup. Uh, look here. That's really nice. Uh, I might do that another time. But I think uh, that is it for now. So, I hope to see you next time on my channel. And... Uh, if you like the video, please leave one by clicking the little blue thumb. And if you really like the video, please subscribe to my channel. It's very easy and it shows me that I need to continue with my videos because people actually like them. Yeah. And uh, I hope to see you simply in the next video, which will be... Um, I, th I think the next video will be... I don't know when it will be, but I think it will be that I am exploring the end. The end. But I hope to see you then. Goodbye.